Hello, good morning, class eight student. How are you? I hope you all are doing well at home and doing your studies also. This is second video of chapter six, food production. Before going to start this video lesson, I just wanted to tell you that this in this video you will find very beautiful pictures, and I really enjoyed making this video. Uh, I hope that you would like the same. So let us find out what are the learning outcomes of this video lesson. So these are horticulture, ulari culture, pomology, floriculture, landscape horticulture. So different types of cultures we are going to find out in this video lessons. What does this means? Let us see it in the tail. Um, horticulture. So horticulture it means what? Actually, that horticulture is derived from two words, hortus and Culture. This is a. These are Latin words. So the hortus means garden, and cultura means cultivation. So cultivation that the uh, the garden which is uh, which is full of plants, and these plants are cultivated for purpose of getting food like uh, vegetables and uh, fruits, or for decorative purpose like flowers or different plants. So now find out the definition of uh, horticulture. So, so the branch of agriculture which deals with the cultivation of fruits, vegetables, decorative and ornamental plants and flowers, this is called horticulture. And in which, as you know, that fruits and vegetables can be directly we can consider in the food, and ornamental plants and flowers which are uh, can be used for aesthetic and medicinal purpose. So overall, actually, there is a cultivation of um, different plants. Okay, or we can say there is a uh, there is a garden which has all valuable uh, plants, which has good commercial or nutritive value. Okay, here you can see that fruits, vegetables, flowers, or that medicinal plant. So let us find it out how. Uh, first, the division of horticulture. So horticulture, you can see this picture. Okay, so horticulture is uh, it has four divisions. The first one is floriculture, which is related with the culture of uh, flower. Ulari culture, which is related with the culture of vegetables. Pomology, which is related with the culture of fruits. Landscape and nursery industry, which is related with the ornamental uh, plants. So this too, ulari culture and pomology, which is related with the uh, cultivation of plants for food. And floriculture and landscape uh, nursery industry. This is related with the cultivation of plants for uh, uh, that medicinal value or for decorative purposes. Then the first division is ulari culture. So ulari culture is what it is a branch of horticulture. As you know that uh, horticulture is a branch of agriculture, and Ulari culture is what it is a branch of horticulture. So it is a branch of horticulture that deals with the growing of vegetables and and uh, and the culture of non woody plants. You can see the cabbage. Okay, so it includes uh, uh, different plants which are non woody like uh, cabbage, cauliflower, uh, radish, or uh, carrot, um, leafy vegetables. Okay, so different types of vegetables included in this, and it can be any part of the leaf, of the plant. It can be uh, root part, it can be shoot part, like stem part, or it can be like tuber, or it can be leafy part of the plant. So all this included, all this which what we consider as vegetables, they are in the category of ulari culture. Now the next topic is pomology. So pomology it deals with the cultivation, production, harvest, and storage of fruits. So here you can see a picture of uh, that uh, picture of orange tree. Orange trees here you can see. So um, in this that cultivation and that. It is also very important that how these plants are grown and after grown, then there is harvesting also, then there is storage of uh, uh, the fruit fruits also. So all these things are all these points are really important and really critical. And then after that, uh, how that it, it is it is to be sold in the market. All these things are needed to uh, to kept in mind. 
so uh, this comes in the category of pomology and you know that uh, that fruits even that the farmers at the time of cultivation of this type of uh, plants they also keep this thing in mind that uh, it should be the pla the plant should be free of uh, uh, disease and it should be an improved variety of the uh, plant and as you know that whether it is uh, pomology or it is olary culture that uh, the vegetables or fruits as i told you so these are actually that they have good nutritive value uh, as they are these are uh, having um, uh, vitamins and minerals that vitamin they are the good source of vitamins and minerals and as the vitamins and minerals are protective food and among the food components we can say that vitamins and minerals are protective in nature so that's how it also decreases our dependency on cereals too okay the next one is floriculture now uh, the plants which are grown for food we have already discussed and now floriculture another division of horticulture so it is also a branch of horticulture in which the large scale cultivation and management of flowering and ornamental plants are done so here you can see that beautiful scenery is there in which the plant that the flowers are cultivated in a decorative way okay it can be different flowers can you tell me the name of different flowers my students are really really familiar with this is are like jasmine orchid lily rose daisy besides that chrysanthemum um daffodil or uh, dahlia different flowers are grown for this purposes and as you know that flowers have aesthetic value they are used for decorative purposes at the time of celebrations uh, functions programs okay and uh, besides that uh, they are uh, that the flowers have good uh, that uh, fragrance also and uh, as the flowers are actually the one thing which is very good in them is that they can be grown by vegetative propagation vegetative propagation is what that it is a kind of asexual reproduction in which a part of the plant is used except except flower the part of the plant is used for uh, uh, used to uh, for growing it means a new plant can be produced by any part of the plant okay so and for and by because of that because of that vegetative propagation that the this the results are very quick so it is an easy convenient and inexpensive way of getting a uh, different variety uh, getting number of varieties of plants now landscape horti horticulture so by just seeing this pic can you have an idea that what does this mean what does this landscape horticulture means so in this landscape horticulture it deals with the creating a design or alteration of a portion of a land with the help of ornamental plants so with the help of ornamental plants the plants are cut in a very beautiful way it, they are given a beautiful shape so that they uh, they increase the value of the of the of that particular land and that's how people are allowed to visit such places okay so uh, generally when we go to gardens so we uh, we found such creations creative work okay and it includes different plants like uh, carnation gladiolus fawn daffodils tulip roses and all this actually that when when they did this okay so they give a picturesque effect or we can say scenario a beautiful scenery effect it gives and which definitely attracts the people so this is about all the divisions of horticulture and let us find out the importance of horticulture so that first one is that economic value yes of course that the pe different peoples are involved in it and that's how uh, that we can say that horticulture is the mother of many industries such as scanning industries and processing industries and even that we can say that it uh, it gives employment to so many people and that's how our uh, that uh, horticulture has a good economic value nutrition value nutritive value i have already told that um, as the fruits and vegetables have good nutritive content as they are having vitamins and minerals and that's how it uh, increase 
uh, or we can say it decreases the dependency of us on the cereals and social and community value so yeah of course because so many people so many communities are involved in uh, culturing this culturing different cultures like uh, olari culture or uh, pomology or landscape so it means that it involves group of people and that's how it has uh, that uh, good community value or social community value uh, then aesthetic value of course for decorative purposes for any programs like it can be a uh, festivals or uh, any uh, any programs like political or social program so the flowers are considered as a, that it has a aesthetic value then medicinal value medicinal value the pla- uh, here that uh, rose uh, rose plant okay the rose flower okay, uh, so that the rose water is generally used for curing eye ailments and beside that it is also used for that uh, uh, this uh, for cosmetic purposes okay so yeah most uh, so some of the flowers has medicinal value also and conservation value conservation it means that the flowers or the plants whatever the plants are grown and after that when they are not utilized so they can be uh, converted into compost and then a manure is prepared prepared so yeah they have conservation value also and and, and then uh, the new plants can be grown by using uh, the manure of the same plant okay then uh, diversity so yeah because different uh, different uh, plants are grown okay so it go it shows uh, diversity or variations of of uh, plants it is not uh, restricted to one two plants like of or one two vegetables or one two fruits there are varieties of plants are grown and that's how we can say it shows diversity r and d research and de- uh, development so yeah because uh, the um, uh, people or the scientists or the farmers are involved in making new combination uh, that uh, for example that white and uh, pink rose are taken and then a uh, different or that uh, baby pink roses uh, is produced the hybrid is obtained which is a different variety so different combinations they do and that's how it we can say that research and development and that the main focus is that the plant should be an improved variety and also that it is disease free so all this work is done by research and development department okay so that's how we can, this is the importance of horticulture and at the last i just want to tell you keep studying have